Welcome to the third edition of the Fabek News Flash. Today we would like to bring you up to date on the following areas. The main objective of the Fabek civil and military air navigation service providers is to cooperate closely in order to optimize the use of the common airspace. This particularly consists in finding joint solutions for the existing traffic bottlenecks, also called hotspots. One of these hotspots is the Fabek Dover interface. A solution has been tested during a first simulation at the Eurocontrol Experimental Center at Bretigny. In the context of Fabek, the Eurocontrol Experimental Center will support Fabek airspace design validation activities. To do so, up to 15 real-time simulations are planned until the end of 2014. It will include both civil and military stakeholders. The Dover Phase 2 small-scale real-time simulation was run the second week of December 2010. In one of the previous news flashes, we informed you about the Dover Phase 2, which is investigating the implementation of the reshaped CBA-1 and the new three-root structure. In the next stage, we're into the simulation phase, whereby we're investigating the operational feasibility of the new design and the new operational procedures. Presently, we are conducting a prototype uh, real-time simulation, which is called a PRTS, which is a development uh, simulation to uh, fine-tune, adapt the new procedures. These results will be put forward into the RTS, which is the second phase of the simulations, and will be uh, planned from the 4th to the 15th of April in 2011. To learn more about this first simulation, we met Philip Bettens of Belgo Control, who shared with us his impressions as an ATCO and his first findings of the simulation. Here on this map you can see the current situation of the CBA, the cross-border area, where uh, at current the French military are having exercises in. And as well, we can see here the Danger 7 area is the shooting area of Lombard Seide. The green area is a zone which at this time is not active. If it were active, it, uh, it will become red. But imagine that uh, it is active now. Then within this whole zone, the French military can have their exercises. As you can see, there is actually a real bottleneck when, uh, when traffic is approaching the Belgian coast. And uh, this creates, of course, delay. Also, there is a westbound uh, traffic, uh, departing traffic going from uh, the European continent, going transatlantic, and also the arrivals for London, because here is the UK. Uh, traffic going eastbound has to be separated from westbound traffic. So this eastbound traffic cannot be shifted too much to the north. This military area, which is now uh, controlled by the French military, uh, will be under control of the Belgian military. It will become somewhat smaller, and it will shift somewhat uh, to the south. So this is the current CBA-1 we see here, and you can already see there are three parts uh, delineated in green. Uh, now, in the new CBA, uh, there will also be different modules. More than these, there will also be some modules in France, and depending on the military needs, the military can activate only these modules that they will really need. And, of course, when the modules are not active, traffic can still pass uh, alongside this narrower uh, CBA. Uh, so this bottleneck uh, will become broader so that the uh, British controllers will have actually three parallel routes going eastbound and they can use these three routes uh, independently from each other without uh, having to enter the military zone. Well, actually, the, uh, the people at Brittany did a wonderful job. I had to go several times there during the past couple of months to, uh, to explain to them how our system works, how it looks like, the human-machine interface, uh, how we work with it. And uh, after a couple of months, the result was really fantastic to see that uh, not only was our HMI, our radar, uh, almost a copy of how we work in it, with it in reality, uh, but we could also see that uh, the other systems of our colleagues next to us, like NATS and RAMS and Paris, had their own systems. Uh, so we were able to, to compare our system, how we work with it, uh, with the systems of our colleagues. So these people in Brittany really did a good job in uh, in copying or making a copy of our systems. Uh, PRTS stands for prototype uh, simulation. So there we, it was a kind of rehearsal where we, we looked at uh, how we could improve the RTS, how we could determine if there were two certain changes we had uh, to make uh, during uh, the RTS. And of course we came up with some, with some things we had to change, which is actually normal because that's what PRTS is for. 
during an RTS, uh, our time is limited. We only have two weeks, which is actually uh, not very much. There are different options because the, 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 the area that we are working with, the Dover Coxie area, has actually uh, a lot of improvements possible and a lot of ideas came forward uh, last year. And uh, unfortunately, if we have to look at all possible options, it will take us a lot of time. So we already determined during the PRTS certain things that we could say, okay, this works already. We don't have to simulate it again uh, during the RTS. We are only uh, in, in a sub work group uh, of, of FABEC, the one that determines uh, the priorities within Coxie Dover area and uh, of course a much broader perspective but uh, we are limited of course to just our area of uh, expertise in that sp uh, specific uh, area but uh, I have a feeling that if you combine all different uh, areas together I think that FABEC will be uh, very important first of all and will indeed uh, prove to be a benefit not only for the companies but also for uh, the, uh, the airline operators. Uh, now you're actually sitting uh, next to each other and uh, there were certain periods of when you had time to, to go and sit next to these colleagues and to discuss with them freely about uh, how they worked, about their procedures and uh, you will notice that every ANSP has its, its own specific problems so you learn to understand uh, the problems of, of, of the others and uh, which helps to contribute to, uh, to better uh, coordination with each other. Yes, the military were there during the PRTS. Uh, they were there to check if their systems were up to date. Uh, during the RTS, uh, the uh, Belgian military will have their, uh, their own controllers working at their own position. Uh, and there will actually be military traffic operating within that CBA during military activity. And uh, there will even also be uh, military flights crossing our civil area uh, to check if it's uh, cooperative with the uh, traffic streams that we have today. For more information, please visit fabec.eu.